Hey guys, it's been a little while since I've made a Home Assistant video, but in one of the recent uh, updates, the 0.102 update, they introduced a great new feature. A little while back, I made a tutorial video about the excellent WLED firmware you can run on your ESP8266 or ESP32 based digitally addressable LED controller, such as for instance my Quinn LED Dig Uno boards. For people unknown with the channel, the Quinn LED Dig Uno is a board you can use to run digital LEDs such as strips or pixels with some more features than directly off the microcontroller or on a simple breadboard. More about that later in this video. Today we're going to take a look at how to integrate the excellent WLED into Home Assistant. So, over the past few weeks, Frank has been spending all his waking hours to get this integration finished, and it recently made it into Home Assistant 0.102 as a Platinum level integration. If you don't know Frank, check out his YouTube channel or Twitch channel. I'll have it linked in the description. He does live streams where he works on his programming projects and interacts with the people there, and it's an awesome time hanging out in a stream. So. I recommend joining that. So for this integration, we're going to take a Quinn LED Dig Uno with an ESP32 running the newest 0.8.6 WLED firmware, which is connected to, well, an LED strip. You can see, well, behind me, whatever. It's working fine through the app and we can set effects and stuff like that. But if you want to know more about WLED, check out that video. If you've already upgraded your home assistant, you should be able to add a WLED controller right away. But let's run through it together and see how it works. Okay, first, let's check if we are running the 0.102 version of home assistant. Okay, looks like we're all good there. Go to the configuration screen and then integrations. If you have MDNS set up in your network, the WLED modules should already be shown here. If you don't, like me, you can always add it manually. To do that, I look up the IP of the specific module I want to add in the WLED app and hit the plus icon in the integration screen. There I select WLED and it asks me for the IP number. I put in the IP I got from the app and that's all you need to do. It connects, adds it to Home Assistant. How awesome is that? Couldn't be simpler. So let's check it out. Hit the WLED integration you just added and we see a few entities and measurements. Most of these are single settings or some nice statistics like current power usage, but the top one takes us to the light control. There you can do a lot of the things that are also available in the app or through the WLED webpage. Basic functions include turning it off and on, Varying brightness. And setting the effect or effect colors. There is also a slider for the color temperature of white light, but not a lot of effects use that right now. Some other functions such as effect speed, palette or presets are missing for now, but if I've understood Frank correctly, those will be coming in the future. Let's take a look at the normal Home Assistant page where I've added the light we just configured in my WLED Overview tab. I use this mini graph card to make a nice graph of the current power usage 
And I've also added the three W LEDs I have active in my house right now. The most awesome thing of having this in Home Assistant is that we can now use animations or Node Red to do all kinds of things. We can have the lights change on events and then go back to a normal pattern, for instance, turn on and off syncing of the multiple W LED modules, or turn them on and off like you would a normal light. I don't believe there was this good of an integration for digitally addressable LEDs with Home Assistant before. Yes, ESP Home could do some of this stuff, but WLED has a lot more effects and is much more versatile in that regard. A little bit more about my Quinn LED Dig Uno board. If you want to move beyond a breadboard setup or loose wires, it features screw terminals to securely screw down your wires, and it can take up to 15 amps continuous through the board and with an inline fuse with reverse input and output protection, it safeguards your equipment and home. Next to that, there's also an onboard level shifter, making sure your data signal gets to the LEDs intact and without corruption. So if you want to run digital LEDs in any kind of permanent fashion, I highly recommend using one. It's my board, of course, so I'm a bit biased, but they are really convenient and do actually make everything a bit safer with the fuse, for instance. If you'd like to learn more, check out the description or take a look directly on quinled.info for more information about it and how to build one yourself. And well, that kind of brings me to the end of this video. I just wanted to show you this integration that is now possible. I've been playing with it for the past few weeks and it's worked really, really well. Even if you change things manually using the uh, the app or the website, the WLED integration picks this up and basically there's never going to be an out of sync situation. You can see the changes you do directly in Home Assistant and vice versa. It really helps bringing digitally addressable LEDs into Home Assistant and makes them just as convenient to control as any other light you may have. Very exciting and I will certainly be using this in my future projects. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Have you already made something running WLED? I had my live stream last week where I made a little Christmas ornament running WLED and it's awesome. The girlfriend really loves it for the people who watched. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below or join our Discord server. Lots of people there working on digital LEDs and the Quinn LED boards. So, it's a great place to hang out. Also, check out the video description for all the articles and links and videos and stuff I mentioned. A like on the video never hurts, and maybe even subscribe to the channel so that I'll see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.